I have on this quick video just to show you how our 1301 latch stop works. This is designed to stop the inherent issue that you get with the 1301, where when uh, a round's in the chamber, cartridge in the chamber, you can accidentally push the uh, handle back and it releases another cartridge under the ramp. So therefore you've got two in play at once. The stop's designed to inhibit that. So it's an, it's an easy fix, so we'll just quickly show you how to install it. We will be using dummy rounds. Uh, these are an excellent product designed and made by a guy called Dave Smith from Rosendale Fusiliers. We will be putting a video up on our Facebook page uh, in the next coming weeks, uh, giving you a little bit more details about those, where to get them, how to contact him, uh, prices, etc, etc. So keep an eye out for that. <clears throat> so first off, gun safe. We'll take this safety flag out. I'll just quickly show you there's nothing in the chamber though. Um, easiest way to do this is with the bolt closed. So we'll release the bolt. Um, the only issue with that, it then puts your latch on an angle. Trying to fight that is a bit of a nightmare. You can also cross thread it. So what we do, press the button in the corner. And that just releases it nice and flat. So you're working in that, that motion. All you need is a T10 Torx, so one's not provided, but most people have them lying around. When you're ready to install, you insert your Torx, and you just rotate it anti-clockwise. So we take that off. We take the part, put it on. And we tighten that back up. Now with these being plastic parts, original, um, from factory, you can over tighten it, well you can, but you've just got to be careful not to, so just nip it up, be careful you don't strip the threads. Now the part is designed to move, so it will move, reason being, as the latch moves, it lifts up and down, so it needs that flex, so it's designed to move with it, so when you get it and you're installing it and you think it's not tight, don't worry, that's how it's supposed to be. So all we'll do show you how it works so drop your dummy around in release it turn it over as you can see my port's been opened up that was done and welded on the uh, the ramp that was done by andy haynes at uk custom guns uh, great bit of work he uh, can recommend him for doing stuff so the idea now is we've got one in the chamber so conventionally you press the button and it'd release the cartridge into the uh onto the ramp under the ramp with the button now with the latch stop there, that inhibits it happening. So what we do, you pull your trigger, release the round, loads another one in. So you can see that's not going to release. And there we go, nice easy quick fix. Just by adding this little part here. Takes 30 seconds. All right, cheers.